Good morning. Welcome to Butte Mountain Homestead. It's Sunday morning. You'll see this tomorrow morning, but we have our first frost. And I know the lettuce isn't going to make it. I'm not sure about any of this either. Well, the time, I think, will be okay. The sage, I'm not too sure. I did not cover anything up. I was only supposed to get 34, 35. But I think the broccoli might be okay. If not, that's... I screwed up. <laughs> or I messed up. But, yeah, the carrots are a little wilty. I know the lettuce will be mush. If I had to came out here about an hour ago, I could have probably sprayed everything down. If you spray it with water, it's more likely to survive than not. But, yep. So, the bird bath is, water is, I can't even break it. So, <clears throat> I came out to the greenhouse to see what the low temp had got down to. And it says, it says 28.6. Uh, right now it's 39.2. So we got a good frost. I'm going to see if this water bath is frozen without knocking it over. Let's see. Oh no, I can crack that one. Yeah, the one over there in the garden, I can't. So, we'll see what I lost when the sun comes out. And Good morning, boys. It's cold, huh? Need to break your water, too. So, hold on. I'm going to do that real quick. Get something to break it. Let's see. Would you like some water? It's probably pretty cold. No, I don't have any crackers for you. Oops. There you go. Now you can have a drink of water. You know, those edges are pretty solid, but there you go. You can have some water. Alright. Oops, excuse the thumbprint there. As you can see, I did not get the greenhouse done this weekend. I might work on it a little bit today. I did pick up all the trim board on Saturday and the rain gutter. Um, the rain gutter, I just have to install that drip edge. So that means that whole backside I'm going to have to lift up and put the drip edge in. So, But I got the material for the door. So I got everything to finish it. I just The, the winds have been really high this weekend. They were 10 to 20. And then there was on and off rain. So that's eight feet up there I'm not going to stand on an eight foot ladder trying to drive screws and Jean had to work most of the time so anyways we will see what did not survive <laughs> that hollyhock looks a little little wilty so I don't know if it survived either but my one lemon yeah gonna be a gorgeous day though it's gonna be a gorgeous day oh, that will be a bummer I was so silly that was so <laughs> 35 they would have been fine but they're they should be able to take a or they're supposed to be able to take a light frost so depending on how long it got 28 and how long it stayed there is the question so we will find out we will find out so just been working on a lot of stuff inside you know taking Christmas down and redecorating and cleaning as I go so that's been taking a lot of time and just kind of relaxing and doing all that bit but I'm gonna start gearing up towards getting seeds started in there but yeah this water bath or bird bath over here is there is no 
there is no break in that no weak spot at all so i'm surprised oh i hope that's not a crack right there i don't know if we've ever got down to 28 since i've lived here I know you guys are probably laughing, some of you that live in really cold, but <laughs> some areas north of us, just about an hour, they're supposed to get down to 22 for a couple days in a row, so I have a, a friend that lives up there, and hopefully she got everything covered. I did not, so, yep, there's the oregano. Oh, goodness, silly, silly, silly. All right, guys, that's about all, all, all the garden I got going on, so it's going to be a short video this week, though. So there's the sunshine. going to come out and zap it all. <laughs> I'm not sure for those that don't know, when a frost of the, the inner cells of the leaves, they swell with moisture, you know, they harden, and then when the... Uh, sun comes out it thaws them so fast that it bursts the cells inside and that's why they most plants die some that can tolerate it it's because their stem walls are a little bit thicker and can can handle it a lot of things can't so that's the very very basic <laughs> explanation of that but these don't look like they're going to do so good but only time will tell I'll come out here later in the day and I'll finish up the video and I'll show what truly didn't make it and what did. So stay tuned for a little bit later today. Hi guys, it is the next day. I ended up getting a lot done in the house. I'm doing my, uh, I do my deep cleaning after Christmas uh, before spring because I want to be out in the garden in the spring. So, but as we can see... They did not die from the frost. Actually, by the looks of it, I didn't lose anything to the frost. So, the aphids have kind of taken over this one. And you know what? I might let them because I don't see much on anything else. Oh, I see some right there. So, I need to spray these real quick. I'm going to spray them tonight. But, um, yeah, I didn't lose anything. The peas, even. They didn't like it, but... They're still there. All the onions are still in. Everything's still good. All these broccoli are still still here. Let's see. Is that aphids on there? Yep, there's aphids on here. So I need to I need to get going on something for the aphids before I lose everything to the aphids. <laughs> so anyways, everything's looking really good. Not sure what this is all about. Looking good. Yep, all the broccoli's in. I didn't lose any of this business either. Uh, the sage I might cut back. I might harvest um, some of the leaves off of there. And then I might cut it way back. This is like it's fourth year, fifth year. So, um, same with the time. But, uh, yeah, the kale's all doing really good. It's got a good growth spurt, so... Um, I harvested carrots earlier. Even the lettuce survived. So, we're looking good. Alright, I have a big, huge to-do list today. Oh, look, there's even flowers on the peas. So, yep, they weren't affected. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have a lot on my to-do list today. I, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to get as much stuff done outside as I can. And then I'll work stuff on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It was actually just nice and short and sweet. Just talking about our harvest. Or not our harvest. Our first frost. And everything weathered okay. So a friend of mine. Like I mentioned up, uh, earlier. Uh, Kari from uh, Schofield Farm. Um, she's been having 25 and 22. Or she was expected 22. I didn't check this morning to see what she posted. But. Yeah, she had 25 the other morning uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so. But it looks like I'm going to have to battle some weeds. I've been trying to pull them as I can, but when there's warm weather in between, it makes it a little bit difficult. But, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. 
And what I'm tackling today is the chicken coop. Um, I see a lot of mouse activity in there. I actually found a, a baby nest last night. So I had to take care of that. Um, so I'm going to move the nesting boxes up. I'm going to clear away a spot to where um, I can put in a tote to hold straw. Because I've basically given the mice a free range <laughs> on straw so I'm gonna do some recon in there today and then I need to fortify the door because I forgot to do that I forgot to winterize the door and when we had all of our rains last week that whole area I forgot was open and so all that on the other side is just gross so I need to get some plastic up there to prevent that from happening for uh, the next rains coming in so I will see you on the next video sorry this one was a little late um, if you're enjoying them please give them a thumbs up like share subscribe all the good stuff and I'm hoping to get to there right day today but I'm not sure we'll see so once I do that then I can finish that wall and the door and I have all the materials for it so get that wrapped up so have a great week. See you next week. Um, remember to always be kind and do what makes you happy. Thanks, guys.